Let's look back again. Hey, you know how I love to visualize data? I love to use the scatter plot. Oh my god. The distribution plot, that can be process time and you know, all together. So tough. Box plots, come on. Talk to me about this design. Yes, that's exactly what I need. You know what I love more than those visualizations, though? For end users to be able to trust the data. There are absolutely users at the high end of the data visualization spectrum who can get the kind of things that really get me excited. There's an awful lot more users who those things are pretty foreign to. They're used to seeing data in a table, they're used to playing with it, being able to choose what to see. And so one of the things that I really love um, with ClickSense is the Climber Custom Report. Uh, this is an extension that's free for you. All you got to do is go to Click Branch, um, just search for Climber. You'll find several of their extensions. You download those, you install it, and here's what it gives you the ability to do. You build um, master visualizations, which are just pure straight tables of um, dimensions and measures. And then when it's displayed for the end user, they can see, hey, do I want this table? Do I want that table? Do I want the other table? And obviously these would have, you know, more um, defined names like encounters or patient details or surgery schedules or whatever it is that you might be visualizing. Um, all they've got to do then is they say, hey, I'd like to see this dimension and they move it around. If they'd like to see things in a different order, they do it. If they want to say, hey, I no longer want to see that dimension, I don't want to see this dimension, you'll notice it's rolling these values up just as you would expect because those are measures. If I add a couple other measures and if I've got something defined um, behind the scenes for the measure, it will show the measure the way you define that particular measure, um, which is nice. If there's a measure and you say, oh, geez, this is a sum of something, I want to go ahead and roll those values up. I, you can just instantly roll them up and add totals to the top. If you know you've got a value that doesn't make sense as an average or something, of course, you're not going to sum that, right? Um, so they can do those. If they're rolling these values up, if they move these dimensions, you'll notice now that it's rolling it up the totals there. Here's what I like even more. That gives them the ability to do basic straight table type stuff, which is really nice. That control is absolutely free. You download that off of branch. They also have this custom report plus, which lets you go beyond that. I can still do the same thing. If I've got these multiple dimensions, I can move the dimensions around. I can add expressions as I need them. I can move those columns around, but here's where it really gets interesting. They give you the ability to instantly pivot that data and work with it. So I can look at dimensions um, down or dimensions across. If I add another dimension, I can add that thing. I can expand or I can say, you know what? I like that dimension to be over here as a row, and I want this dimension to be up there as a column. Really nifty stuff, isn't it? I can also then look at this stuff as a combo chart if I want to. For the combo chart, I'm looking at just one dimension, but I get to look at a couple of measures. And so maybe I say, well, let's go ahead and get rid of this expression. I just want to look at this. And when I look at this, I'd rather see this as markers instead. And so we're going to say, hey, go ahead and create this secondary axis so I can have these markers. Or I might say, no, nah, you know what? I do want to see this as a line. But I do want to have a secondary axis for that thing. And so this Climber Custom Report Plus is something that you subscribe um, through Climber 4, but then you get the ability to either look at a plane table, or you can do the pivot table, which is nice, or you can convert it um, uh, right to a combo chart and then do all kinds of variations of things like that. So hopefully that's something that um, you might find interesting. I know I find it super interesting. I think it's a, a great add. Um, so that your, your end users who might be more Excel-based, um, used to those kind of features, are interested in it. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to this pivot table for a second, and I'm going to show you something really neat. So as I add a couple of these measures back, um, 
one of the things I'm working at is I could export this. I've got users all the time that say, hey, I just want to see that data in Excel. All right, let's dump it to Excel. Well, the neat thing is they go ahead and build this Excel sheet for you, and they've already got that thing pivoted. They set it up as a pivot table right in Excel for you as well. But it doesn't end there. This is where things get really neat. I, I showed you a lot about on-demand application generation. This would be another way they're going to show you to do this. Imagine that in your app you've got a whole bunch of filters, and I've narrowed it down to a particular field require, a particular department. I'm looking at my particular patient, and I want to see those outside of here. I can export this, but I can say I want to export it to a new app instead of exporting it to Excel. Simply export it. It's going to create that app for me, and it's going to give me the ability to open that thing. I go open that app and bubble, bubble, bubbles. I've got my app. I'm ready to go. I can look at the fields that are available to me. It build them out as master dimensions and measures. Um, so if I want to take these things and just start slapping them on the screen, I can start slapping my information on the screen. Um, if I want to start building charts, I can do charts. If you were using the June 2018 version and you have the cognitive insights available for you up here, guess what? You're playing within the pivot table you generated, and now you've got an app you can start using to play. Let me see what a let me see what that chatter plot looks like. But now I know what my numbers are that I'm dealing with. I trust the set of data I've got. Um, it's just it's smaller than the whole big thing. And so as you're thinking about how to move users along the visualization continuum, um, the data consumption continuum I talked about, and we talked about a lot about data literacy. This is a great tool, I believe, to help you migrate those people um, from one end of that spectrum to the other. Um, so be sure to check that out. Have a great video.